All right, guys, it's John and Isaiah. We're back at Casey Farms. Today, we're gonna to talk about how we are expanding our property. So let's go check out what we've done. All right, well, obviously we can't really expand our farm much. What we have is what we have, but we're gonna make it more usable. And uh, we've got our boys here. And they've been in this area for quite some time. Getting a little frisky over there. But myself and Uncle Ken have been down here at my mother-in-law's. We're on her side of our property. And we have cleared this out. And it's just, just, just awesome. I mean, everyone says, why don't you just let the pigs do the work? Well, there's so many thorns and everything else. We can't hardly, there's hardly a spot for a bowl of feed and everything. Uncle Ken has been down for almost a week now. He's over there learning the zero turn. So always a good time when he's here and we get a lot done, but we came down through here and I am not very good at getting pictures befores and afters or video of before and after, but this is all just all cleared. It was just almost inaccessible, but we've gone through here and we ran the pigs in here last year, but we really never cleaned it out that well to make everything usable but we're gonna go up in here you can see where i backed through we'll just see how far the fence goes as to how far or how much of this we are going to use but there's we could not even walk up in here but now we can get it i can get their feed bowls down i can walk in here with the pigs and not just get torn apart by thorns we were both scratched up my uncle's on blood thinner so he was bleeding everywhere <laughs> <laughs> but he's fine don't worry uh but we've got all this here all this is usable there's a little wet spot which they'll love to use for a wallow in here you can see i'm kind of walking into it now but uh they'll be able to use this wallow and get in here um it's going to be a super simple move because we're just going to open that fence and move them across so we'll see how much we have they're going to have a little bit of pasture and the rest is going to be wooded so let me get these fences set up and we will uh, start using our expanded farmland that we've created. Okay guys, we've got this area set up. We just need to move pigs now. They're gonna have a little water spot down here. Plenty of shade and foraging through these trees. And then they've got a little pasture spot out here as well. So really excited about this setup. Looks like Henry is ready. This is the easiest move. You've seen a bunch of moves of us going all the way across the farm. And not that they're hard. But this is so much easier doing it this way we just open up this fence and they walk through so we'll see if we can get these lazy butts up here and uh get them across i guess before i grab hold of this fence i need to go shut it off Whew, these boys are stinky today so say hi to everybody kevin you ready to go to a new spot, bud? It's Kevin. I always want to call him Clyde. Hey, buddy. And then we got Mo. Let me think of his name. Brooke! Who's the orange pig? Who's the orange pig? I forgot his name. Ryder. There it is. Thanks, Isaiah. This one right here. I keep calling him Clyde. I don't know why. Let me turn this off so we don't get shocked. That's Ryder. Really like him. Really long body. Really fat nose. Good looking boar. He was, who was Ryder in with? Chloe, right? Yeah, Ryder was in with Chloe. So we'll have babies here in a little bit from him. See how they turn out. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, let's go to your new spot. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Mo. Get up, lazy. Come on, pick, 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 pick. We're also, I think, going to put Shiloh in here. 
There's Henry, he's excited. So we're gonna add another boar here. We'll have a little, let you know whose boss struggle and then we'll be good. So I'm just gonna open this whole thing up. It opens up right here. I'm gonna be taking this down anyway, so it doesn't matter how much of it I open. Here we go. You ready, bud? Ready to come to this new spot? Hasn't been that hot. It's getting a little chilly in the evenings, which is nice. So we'll get these guys over here. Come on, pigs. Like I said, these are the best moves where we hardly have to go anywhere. Come on, come on, Kev. Kevin's looking good. Come on, Mo. Come on, pick, 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 pick. Come on. We're gonna introduce you to another pig too. So you guys know him, he's just been gone for a little bit. There we go. Come on through, Kevy. Here comes Henry. Ryder. Clyder. <laughs> Come on, Mo. You don't always have to be last. Come on. How you doing, Kev? Come on, pig. Come on, the fence isn't there anymore. You can come through. Good boy. All right. There we go. Go explore with your buddies. Get them shut up here so they don't come back out. We've got their pig loo. I have not been putting hay inside the pig loos up there because it's been warm, so they don't really need it. But I'm gonna add it in now. It's always good to have extra forage if we need it there we go all right no charge on here yet but we'll get that in a minute i'm probably going to set the pig loo right up here on this flat spot help keep the rain out of it but everybody is a little excited today so anyway let's go get shiloh bring him over here like i said there'll be a little let them know, let each other know who's boss, but it's gonna take a stop off our thing. We are positive, Marge is pregnant. Well, as positive as we can be until we see piglets. She has not come back into heat. So we'll bring him in here. We'll have a new buddy to play with. A little power struggle and then they'll be good. So I'm gonna get the kids probably to help me with this cause we're gonna have to take Marge all the way to the back. So let's go get these other pigs. Okay, here is Shiloh. Marge is still chilling. Maybe we can sneak him out really quick, but when she sees his food, we might not have a chance. Turn this off. Hey, bud, come here. You wanna come out for a minute? Come on. Come on. I know you probably don't wanna leave your girlfriend, but we're gonna do it. That was simple. Come on. Let's turn this fence back on so Marge stays in till we get her out. Come here, bud. Come on. Come here. I'm gonna take you to go play with some boys. Come on. We'll be back for you, Marge. Everybody ripping up the area to show everybody who's boss. Come on. Come on. We used to keep our uh, boars and sows together until she was ready to go to the farrowing area, but as long as we see that they haven't come back into heat, we can move them back, take down on our amount of times we stop during chores. So that's why I'm doing this today. Come on. He got this new scratching post. I don't know if he wants to go. Come on. Come on, bud. Food is not having the greatest effect. I Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set this camera down. We'll catch up our video once we get him in there. All right. 
Well, it was a little longer than expected, but walking through all those boy scents, he's already bucking up on Henry. We'll check these guys out in a little. I want to get a charge on this fence just so they don't come out of the fence. Okay, guys, I ran and got him some water just because whenever there's a scuffle to see who's boss, it is you want to make sure they have water and they stay cool. You can see everybody's pretty much chill right now i'm sure it's not the last time they'll go after each other but uh here is shiloh another nice reason to have this little mud spot here he's already pretty much let kevin i guess he didn't let kevin kevin showed him who the boss is so he's he's okay with that he's over here cooling down but i did want to get their waters in here um obviously whenever you're putting your boys together it is not a fun part of raising our pigs but it's a part that has to happen and normally one lets the other one know and it's over within a day or so i'm sure kevin during feed time he'll chase him away from a bucket and he'll go to a different bucket for his feed but everybody is good so our white pig is gonna be a brown pig here shortly right now he's just half and half he's only got one side muddy but uh oh there we go now he's a totally brown pig so happy to have this spot happy to be making some more of this usable like i said earlier the reason we clear it out so nice it's just so more for us than the pigs um they'll clear it out but it takes a little bit longer but if we can knock this down and keep it keep it get it nice for them i think just as we keep rotating them through they'll be able to keep it knocked down so a little extra work at the start they're not goats i know some goats will eat some of this greenery and thorns they'll eat the leaves and all that kind of stuff the pigs but how you doing bud was it better in there with marge yeah i bet it was but he seems to be just fine now he's a skunk now he's just got a white stripe but anyway shiloh's doing fine he'll be fine they've all had some to eat we'll check out these other guys real quick and then i want to show you let me get this stick out of here don't want this affecting our charge I want to show you in the back when we ran these guys through the woods what it looks like now i mean we didn't clear it out as good last year but it looks amazing so everybody's doing good one more time kevin mo henry Ryder, and shiloh and shiloh and Ryder, the orange ginger are actually brothers so we got these guys back together We'll be separating them out shortly. I believe we're going to be starting putting our for our spring litters sometime November, December. Jamie's got those dates. You know she's she's in charge of keeping track of those days. So before we wrap this up, I want to take you to the backwoods where we had pigs last fall and winter and show you what it looks like in there now. All right, guys, we are back here in the winter. Uh, we had cleared this out. Um, you might not be able to tell too much from camera now, but as you look around, this was a hay pile that we dumped out of their pig loo. You can start see, seeing some grass form, not form, grow. And in here, I mean, there was never any grass in here. And I know there's not a ton of sunshine that comes through here, but this is the main spot. Look at this up in here. This is what I'm excited about as we clear and keep running these pigs through the woods. Look at all the green. And it's not just trees. I know we got the little saplings and everything else. But look at all the green and forage that these pigs will be able to get. Ooh, look at that. Let's see if we can check him out. Almost walked through that guy. But anyway... Look at all the green up in here. I'll try to change my path so I don't wear this spider. But pigs were up in here in the winter and just, I know it's not a ton, but look at all the green. Look at all the green in here. So this was just woods and you can see we did not clear this out as well as we've cleared out other areas. We've got some down trees in here. 
and everything else but there is a lot a lot more green than there was so that excites me like i said obviously we can't expand our farm unless we buy more land but we can definitely expand it by starting to use some of this land that we have access to and make it usable so that's our goal that will be something we're working on the whole time we live here and obviously it's going to take a couple years so but it's fun doing it i enjoy clearing the land i enjoy getting the animals on it and being able to use it so man we appreciate you guys following along as we continue to grow our small channel we appreciate those subscribing and those just watching the videos thank you guys check us out on facebook and instagram and don't forget make the change